is it really possible to overcome chronic anxiety? If you're curious about, about the answer to this, stay tuned. There's a lot I want to share with you about this. Most importantly, what actually causes chronic anxiety and what can you do to overcome it? And maybe we should talk a little bit about the symptoms too, but most people who have anxiety already know because they often have been diagnosed they have been treated maybe for a long time so maybe we should spend less time talking about the symptoms and more time about what is it that you can really do to overcome anxiety chronic anxiety i'm talking about the, the kind that's debilitating crippling where you can't even think straight anymore you don't even know who you are anymore that kind of anxiety so the short answer very comforting short answer is yes this is something anybody who wants to overcome can overcome so right off the bat i want you to know that now how is that possible um and also i probably should again remember i am sharing this with you based on my research study application practical application and experience as a hypnotherapist and I've also come to realize now I understand why traditional therapy or even medication or coping skills may not do the job or in other words may not really help somebody completely heal anxiety because there's a lot missing from that strategy from that application from that theory and those modalities and the purpose of this conversation is for me to share with you what I have found actually really works somebody, for somebody so that they can feel confident again, they can have inner peace again, they can feel comfortable in their own skin, they can stop the over-worrying, the overthinking, the persistent fear, the self-doubt, the insecurities, and really finally feel comfortable in their own skin and also have a positive outlook about the future. And of course, self-doubt and negative self-talk often is part of that whole anxiety experience. Now, so here is, again, based on my results that have been absolutely phenomenal, why is it possible to be able to overcome anxiety through hypnotherapy? Well, there are three very important big reasons that you deserve to know. First of all, keep in mind, the reason somebody experiences anxiety now, again, from my perspective, remember, anxiety is simply a symptom, a message from the body, a message from the mind that, hey, there is a dis-ease in the body. There's a disharmony. Something is out of sync. And the only way the body can communicate to us is through messages of, and very often these chronic ailments, right? Um, insomnia, migraine headaches, anxiety, depression, addiction, those are persistent, right? Very, very hard to, well, medical society considers it hard to treat, but not really when you understand what to do about it. Especially if this is chronic in nature, you can be assured the body is literally begging and pleading and screaming at us, please, please, let's take care of this. So I now understand that anxiety is really full of symptoms of, hey, this needs attention. Okay, now, rather than, because keep in mind, medicine, the first thing medicine will ask you, and again, I'm not saying this is good or bad, the question is, is it useful, is it helping you, right? If somebody is um, considering and utilizing traditional therapy and medicine as a solution and it helps, great! Then you have found the answer, you found, that's awesome! But people typically come to me when those things haven't worked the way they want, when the person is taking all these prescription meds and drugs and they have been going to therapy for years and they still don't feel like they're getting the relief and the help they want, right? So obviously this is only for you if or people that you know that might be experienced in this, right? Because if the therapy worked, great. Then this is, you don't need this information, right? But very often medicine, traditional therapy, will focus on the symptoms, which is a good start. With hypnotherapy, we're less interested, although it's important to understand what are the symptoms, 
but rather than focusing on treating the symptoms, right, putting out the fires, we are interested in what is causing this anxiety. What is the cause? And you can be assured, every single person I've ever worked with, the cause was because of their environment. It was because it was their experience, what they had experienced, and the meaning they made out of it. And very often the root cause is when a person holds on to a whole baggage of negative emotions that have literally been sort of like, almost like attached to us, where we feel an overwhelming amount of fear and anger and sadness and hurt and guilt and shame, just to mention a few. Jealousy, all those, all those kind of low vibrational energies, right? When somebody experiences anxiety, they are holding on to so much baggage of those negative emotions. In addition, they are typically filled with limiting beliefs, disempowering beliefs about themselves and about the world, destructive beliefs of, I am not enough, I am not worthy, I will never succeed, I don't deserve, it is my fault, I am not made out to be successful, money doesn't run in my family, anyhow, there are so many of these, right? But just, again, logically, right? If a person fundamentally believes these things, and by the way, please keep in mind, I'm not blaming you. You did not start believing these beliefs consciously or on purpose. Most likely, you were very, very young when whatever you experienced, your interpretation, your perception about how you saw the world and yourself was formed. And unfortunately, it was formed through the intelligence of a young child, maybe toddler, maybe even, you know, an infant, believe it or not. And hypnotherapy allows us to investigate what is the root cause so that we can let go of the baggage of those negative emotions, we can let go of those disempowering beliefs and instead replace them with something that will serve you where you can actually feel good about the person you are, where you can you know, be hopeful about the future, where you can be excited when you first wake up, when you can look in the mirror and, and have appreciation and gratitude for yourself instead of all that negativity and that self-doubt and that self-blame and that self-shame and the constant bashing and blaming and, and criticizing and judging ourselves, which is something, by the way, I'm pointing at me because that is something I, I did for many, many, many years. No wonder, it literally caused my head to spin out of control. And I lived in a constant state of fear, in a constant state of feeling insecure about myself, comparing myself to other people, imposter syndrome, right? And think about years of that. What will that cause in a human being? I don't think we need to be a psychologist to understand what the ramifications of that would be right and so so that was number one we want to understand what is the cause for this dis-ease so that you can start to feel inner peace number two and this is another very very important factor you see we need to address the part of the mind that is in control of these behaviors these thoughts these beliefs and everything else that is part of this pattern. And for a large part, believe it or not, anxiety actually is a really kind of like a bad, negative, destructive habit in a sense, because it's just so perpetual, it's just constant. It's really hard to turn it off. And again, I'm not saying you cause this and you, it's on purpose and it's because you're weak or because of your genetics. It has nothing to do with it. It started on a very small level and it just became like an avalanche. It just became bigger and louder and bolder. And then very often even turns into panic attacks and it turns into insomnia. And the, the, what I've learned about hypnotherapy and the science and how, how everything is really connected is the way our body, again, communicates to us. It comes up with these little symptoms of pain, of these little symptoms of insecurity, of these little symptoms of you know, issues, addictions, whatever, unwanted habits. And if we don't listen, if we don't pay attention, it will only get louder, bolder, and stronger. And that is often when people then 
eventually will experience very difficult situation of, of health, could be cancer, tumor, things like that, right? Keep in mind, this is not, this is so important. This happened subliminally, sort of under the radar, where unfortunately through the subconscious mind when we have these beliefs it almost like it, it's a very sneaky program that eventually runs the show and hypnotherapy allows us to communicate with the subconscious mind which is in control of that behavior and renegotiate with the subconscious mind so hypnotherapy really becomes a big big um practice of investigation right investigating the root cause helping somebody understand wait a minute this is what really happened from a bigger perspective from a higher perspective you get to see all the things that were connected to this this ease then you start to have a different perspective then you get to renegotiate with the subconscious mind because keep in mind there's a, a big inner conflict going on it just like with addiction this is a good example addiction is I really need to stop smoking I know it's bad for me I, I you know I, I know it would be good for me to just be healthy but a part of me just I can't I feel addicted I just nothing that right and so that inner conflict creates a lot of problems for us well again we just simply communicate with the subconscious mind 95% of our behavior is controlled by the subconscious mind 95% of our behavior and a lot of these behaviors and programs are good we learn how to tie our shoelaces we learn how to look left and right before crossing the street we learn how to drive we learn how to speak this language wonderful but when it comes to anxiety we got to look at those and say you know what this program we kind of need to change that imagine the analogy right the commander-in-chief on a boat like captain right captain that's what they call it I think and the crew captain there's one captain the crew let's say there's a hundred crew members well the captain can literally beat his head against the wall and scream and yell at everybody and say no but I want to go from sail from New York to Hawaii and, and this is what I want and he can literally jump through all kinds of hoops and demand and command which is his job and that's what he needs to do but if the crew members aren't trained properly if they are not trained in the newest best technology with the right education right if things are happening underneath the surface and these crew members are performing wrongly maybe through old technology and they just have not caught up yet then our duty as the captain we need to make sure that these crew members are trained to the newest standards and that's kind of how the mind works so if the subconscious mind is not in alignment with the conscious mind things are just gonna go really really south and no matter how much willpower captain right no matter how much you want this no matter how much you think it's best for you no matter how dedicated you are no matter you need the crew members to be trained appropriately and hypnotherapy gives us a wonderful opportunity for us to train the crew members, so to speak, right? So that they can get on board, no pun intended, but literally so that all members, the captain and the crew members are united, right? They need to all be on the same page. And the last part, number three, which is my favorite, the only person who has access to this information that we need, nope it's not in a motivational video it's not in a pep talk it's not in your coach's mind it's not in that great valuable information and suggestions and oh maybe you should try this maybe you should try that and here watch another hypnosis youtube video that is made for the general masses here get another self-help program here's those might help you a little bit they might get you to a certain point they might be useful and even the therapist right might have some great suggestions and give you all kinds of coping skills and here's when you're stressed out this is what you do take these breathing methods and do these mindfulness techniques 
that's in my opinion okay a very disrespectful and ineffective way to treat anxiety because it literally is just like putting on a band-aid and people deserve to have more people need more that is literally it's like here's something to help you feel better for five minutes it, that's not cool in fact that's that's cruel if you ask me and again remember I am speaking about my experience after having done all the research so much experience with this and again for me it's not enough to just read something from a book just because a book said so doctor so-and-so said so and a scientist you know wrote a book to me I'm like good that sounds great on paper okay sounds promising sounds cool I'm actually very curious I want to practice and see the evidence in my life, the proof in the pudding, say, hey, did something work here? Did something shift? Did something happen here? And if it didn't, then that's not good enough. Then I, I could care less what science tells me. I'm not interested in science. I'm interested in practice and application. I'm interested in watching my clients succeed and soar and thrive and sleep good through the night. Those are real results that we can measure. Right when somebody feels confident, when somebody goes uh, goes after life and and just feels like, gosh, I'm so glad, like I feel in a peace. That's real to me. And so back to number three, the only person who has the answers to um, what is causing all of this is you. It's in your subconscious mind, and hypnotherapy literally gives us the opportunity to practice this, to process this. And through this investigation, you get the answers. And that is really how healing and transformation can become reality. And the other thing I should probably mention to you is that no, this doesn't take 20 years. <laughs> Very often, you know, my clients have wonderful, amazing results, even in just one session. Now, the truth is with chronic anxiety, remember, typically chronic anxiety is something that kind of consumes your life, right? It will take us a little bit of time to reprogram, reprocess those emotions, beliefs, whatever else is attached to it. But still, I mean, a couple of weeks maybe. But even in just one hypnotherapy session, you will have a completely different relationship with yourself, with this anxiety, different understanding. And that is what keep, gives people hope. When they, when they see that even just after one application, something has shifted, something has changed. And this is why I am so in love with this therapy because first of all, it, you have the ownership, you're an agency, you're the authority, you get, you're in control the whole time and you get to ultimately see how powerful you really are and what life experiences actually caused, what your environment might have caused, what generational trauma might have caused. You, you, everything you need to turn this around is within you. It's not within me. I'm just here to help you, to guide you, to support you, to hold your hand if that's what you need. And by the way, no, this doesn't need to be done in person. We can do it virtually, but it is absolutely useful to have somebody that is there with you to hold the space, to give you the guidance that you might need temporarily and to move you through this process so that you can finally let go of this debilitating, awful, painful, hurtful, you know, anxiety experience. So I hope, I hope this answered some questions for you. And of course, if you want more information, feel free to reach out to me. You know where to find me. And remember to be good to yourself. I'll check in with you tomorrow.